Hi, Lou here, and I'm going to make an analogy that may help us understand contemporary tabletop games and perhaps contemporary video games as well. And that is that old style long games are like novels and the new shorter games are like film. Novels take quite a while to read unless you're a speed reader, much longer than a typical movie takes. Novels then can provide lots of detail and side plots. On the other hand, they require a lot more imagination from the consumer than film. And imagination is in short supply now. For example, kids are used to toys where corporations are telling them how to use the toys. The kids don't have to imagine it anymore. G.I. Joe, Barbie, whatever you want to talk about. Some books, at least, are quite deep. And there are lots of surprises arising from the situations and the characters in a good novel. Now contrast film and TV. It's quick, and while we used to have four-hour films with intermissions, now people complain about two-hour films. Film is kind of shallow in most cases, and TV is even worse. Tent pole movies. Think about all action, not much else, although sometimes a tent pole movie rises above that. And I'll admit, I say if a movie doesn't have swords or explosions or magic spells, I'm unlikely to watch it. You don't expect much depth from a movie. The surprises in movies tend to be arbitrary with lots of coincidence, and this is even worse on television. On television, especially, writers aim to, at surprise reveals instead of the organic growth of the story. They're looking for ways to fake the viewer out rather than ways that the story will make sense. And of course there's a difference in looks. Novels tend to be simple and kind of dull in appearance. And I'm not talking about comic books, that's a different animal. There's not much to catch the eye. I remember reading a book from MIT about games and at the end of each chapter there was a, a random photograph. And I say random because it never seemed to have anything to do with this topic of the chapter. I finally decided that somebody had th thought maybe if they put random illustrations in the book, it will be more interesting to people. Who knows? Movies and TV, of course, often rely on flash and trash more than substance. The term eye candy probably wasn't coined to describe a book. Now let's consider how much you can get into a novel as opposed to TV or movies. When I make a screencast like this one, I speak about 135 words a minute. and I transcribe the audio so I can measure this accurately. 80 hours of me talking constantly would be nearly 650,000 words. A TV show of that length, 80 hours, would be far fewer words, but the visuals would compensate. Now I don't know, and of course I'm talking about Game of Thrones here, I don't know how long Song of Ice and Fire is, the novels, but online estimates put the series over 1.7 million words, and there are two more books to come, so we're talking well over 2 million words for the entire series. And that's over three times what the TV show had, even if the talking was constant in an 80-hour TV show. So you can see why even a very long TV program must drop or gloss over a lot of the detail we find in books. It also becomes clear why a typical movie based on a novel has to drop immense amounts of detail and even major plot lines. There's just not time to deal with it. So book-based movies can at best only be the essence of the book. Now, if you think The Lord of the Rings, the extended versions, which are much better than the theatrical versions, you're talking 12 hours for one large novel. Now, let's bring games into this. I hope you can see how, in general, older games correspond to novels and newer games to film and TV. Older games tend to be longer. They require more thought and effort. They are often deeper than contemporary games. Nor are the older ones as slick in appearance. New games tend to be easy to play well, easy to learn, just play it easy. Not much is required of the participant, as in movies and TV. Heck, to read a novel we have to learn to read reasonably, 
There's no such requirements for movies or TV. And there are lots of people nowadays who do not read anything lengthy. It's TLDR. But the contemporary zeitgeist wants what film and TV provide, not what novels provide. They want what contemporary games provide, not what the old games provide. And these are generalizations, of course, and there are lots and lots of exceptions. But generalizations still are useful and can have a lot of truth in them. Thanks for listening.